just talking some arts with Nina from the Somerville Arts Council and we are from Somerville Media Center I am Erica Jones and this is I'm Dave Ortega all right so we are going to go over some of the awesome calendar of events that is coming up for the months of April and May and the fabulous Miss Nina Eichner will be going over all of the festivities and uh, yeah, we want you all to come out Somerville, support the arts, support community, and just be involved. So, yeah. what's up? How's everyone's weekend? Oh, so good. Yeah, what'd you do? Yeah, it's getting warm out. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it was nice. I went to brunch at Highland Kitchen. What? Very nice. But I do enjoy me some Highland Kitchen. Good brunch. I went to Cantina for brunch. Mm. Huevos Rancheros were actually on point. They were they running? Lunch. They were running. All Had right. To catch them. <laughs> <laughs> it, if Sorry. the eggs aren't running, it's not Huevos Rancheros. <laughs> no, they were running. Really? Good. Yeah. Yeah, and I love their refried beans. I didn't know they had brunch. They right new endeavors so with the change yeah. in Somerville. They're trying oh. to they're trying to spice things I love up. Brunch. I know. I know. And I love Cantina. What could be better? What could be better? Yeah. And I hear you were gardening. I gardened. I have a gardening callus. He's a gardening callus to prove himself. I trimmed the rose bush outside of the living room window. That's awesome. And wow. got rid of some wet leaves. That's Boom. Are you open for hire? Because I have a lot of stuff that needs to happen at my no. my apartment. That I actually want to clear out. Like I have a nice little uh, area outside of my apartment that I want to start growing. Some food. Mm. I ordered cool. some seeds, so I want to start. I have some some sunflowers, some mammoth sunflowers, which are like the regular, like large yellow ones, and there's these beautiful reddish, like orange sunflowers that mm. I got seeds for. Wow. Yeah, my goal is to have like a sunflower fence, so I can have some like you know tea and cocktails outside. No one can see me. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <That's> great. <laughs> a little private sanctuary. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. So, um, cool. cool. Well, glad we were all productive yes. totally. this weekend yeah. with gardening. And event season's right around the corner. I know. And it's warm out. this warm weather is motivating Absolutely. to get outside. So what do we have coming up, Nina? So April 23rd? Next weekend, the weekend after this one, yes. is uh, the opening of the event season for the Arts Council and for the city. Cool. And on Saturday, we have the Somerville Spring Cleanup which is an annual event. I think it's been happening probably 10, 15 years now. It's we are going that. to be a site. Uh, you are a site. I, yes, You're Union one of Square. Sites. I know, Union Square is a site, and um, Brian Zip, our executive director, is actually going to be a site captain. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so look for him. It's good. <laughs> so where are the other uh, sites for the so Somerville there cleanup? There are sites throughout all seven wards. Um, some wards have two or three. Most wards have one site. And you can really um, go out to whatever site is closest to where you live or your favorite neighborhood in Somerville. Um, you can check out the City of Somerville, the Groundwork website for the specific sites. Cool. Are you going to um, sign up to volunteer? You can sign up to volunteer or you can just show up on the day of. Oh, okay. So on April 22nd, there will be a breakfast at 9 a.m. at the Blessing of the Bay Boathouse on Shore Drive. You can grab a quick snack and then ha head off to your site. Um, or just head to your site directly at 10 a.m. And you get a cool t-shirt. And a hat. And a hat. It has the City of Somerville logo on it. Are you kidding Ooh, me? The I City of Somerville has a logo. Hat. Can you save me a hat? Let's see what we can do. All right. Wow. Hat. A great hat. Great yeah. hat. Tough times. So <laughs> what can somebody going to the cleanup event expect to do? So from 10 to 12 at the 11 sites, there'll be weeding, raking, shoveling, picking up trash, planting flowers, all different things depending on the site, if it's more of a nature site or an urban site. Um, and just beautifying our neighborhood, preparing for the spring and summer. And then... And, and getting to know your neighbors. And getting to know your neighbors and your aldermen and school committee members who will be help chairing, leading the sites. Um, and then at noon, there will be a barbecue back at the boathouse. Cool. And that will feature yoga, um, and yoga and barbecue. Yoga <coughs> with Brooklyn Boulders. They're coming and doing some yoga and meditation for us. Nice. Uh -huh. There's going to be a spring egg hunt happening for people of all ages, but particularly for children. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'll be other activities, food, music, just a good time to hang out and celebrate um, Earth Day. Cool. And oh, yeah. this event is co sponsored the city of Somerville is leading the charge, but we're being supported by Groundwork Somerville, 
and Comcast Cares are both um, co-sponsoring this event. Awesome. Fantastic. It's a good start to our event season. Yeah, and I've participated in that. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's an easy cleanup. Usually it's a beautiful day. You get out with your neighbors, meet some new people, and then you can come back and have a free barbecue after. Right. Nice. Yeah, win-win all the way around. Win-win and yoga. And yoga, yoga, barbecue, go back and forth between the two. <laughs> Seems like a good combination. Yeah. yeah. That's a wonderful combination. Totally. Great. So, so, and then, you know, if you're not feeling like you fully celebrated the earth <laughs> on Saturday, <laughs> Sunday is Arbor Day. Mm. Is it? Celebrating trees. Awesome. So trees. Yeah. Trees. So Got to love some trees. <laughs> we're celebrating Arbor Day with the Tiny Great Outdoors Festival. Awesome. That's a uh, brainchild of Greg Cook, who's worked with us on the Tiny Tall Ships Festival mm -hmm. and the Mini Party. Mm -hmm. And that will be taking place at the Quincy Street Open Space, which is right down by Market Basket, 16 oh, nice. Quincy Street. It's a tiny little park there. It used to be a residential lot, and the house burned down. And so the city, with the neighbors' support and um, encouragement, created a beautiful mini park there. And so there'll be nature walks in the park. There'll be um, talks by different scientists and people who know a lot about urban wildlife. Nice. Um, our own animal control officer, <clears throat> Rachel Taylor, will be talking about interesting stories of what she's found doing her job as an animal control officer. Um, Vanessa Bukili, who's our um, urban forestry expert for the city, is going to talk about trees and be planting a few trees. He can come and help her plant trees. Mm. Um, there'll be lots of art activities and things related to Arbor Day. Cool. So that'll Great. be 12 to 2 on Sunday. Sunday, April 23rd. Awesome. And so it's a great weekend of celebrating the earth and trees and getting out in the spring weather. I wonder if these trees are going to be native to the northeast. They are. Uh, we're only planting <laughs> native species in the Not park. like a palm tree. <laughs> we will not be planting. This might be a little out of character. Or palm trees. Okay. <laughs> as much as I want to see a palm tree in Somerville. Yeah. Yeah, it probably not wouldn't do too well here. It no. Maybe does, for a few months. Does we'll the city of Somerville. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, does the city of Somerville have an arborist? Yes. So Vanessa just came on as our new arborist. And she looks after the trees, talks about the trees, um, figures out which species are going to do best in Somerville and make mm. sure those are planted. Um, overseas, you know, dead trees getting cut down and new ones going up. Yeah, so she'll be talking at the event. And she's also been on the committee helping plan the event. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Go Earth. Yeah, I go know. Earth, go Trees. Go Earth, Go Trees. Fun fact, my niece was born on Earth Day. Earth Day. Hmm. I know. I so like is her name like Yartha? Um, then we changed it back to a different name. <laughs> <laughs> How old is she going to be? She's going to be 16. Wow. Wow. I know. That's crazy. I know. OLD. I know. But how beautiful to be born on a, such a celebratory day of like mm -hmm. Mother Nature and kind of spiritual connections to the earth. And, yeah. Sure. You know? And you know, um, the Growing Center will also be participating in the Tiny Great Outdoors Festival. Oh, what are we doing? I you know about them. <laughs> I do. I'm the volunteer coordinator there. Oh. Um, yeah, what are we doing there? Um, you're going to come Tell me. <laughs> talk about um, what the Growing Center does and help give out seedlings. We're giving out free seedlings to people who come to the festival, so going to help with that. That's awesome. Make sure people know about all the you know urban gardening that's happening in the city. Yes, and uh, we just held a growing center mixer so we can give more information to people yeah. who are interested in um, either just participating in events like coming and check out some free movies outdoors yeah. or some yoga in the garden yeah. is a series that we're doing um, throughout the summer at the growing center as well as various like musical, um, cultural performances, right. open mics. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's so much going on there. So just trying to get the word out about that. So if you are interested in a little bit more urban gardening in your life. Meet. Yeah, center right. At the tiny garden. Exactly. So it's awesome. Such a beautiful intersection of community. Collaboration. Synergy. Collaboration. Our favorite word here. Nina makes fun of me. <laughs> Collab. She says one of my ta my next tattoos is going to be just collaboration. Collaboration. Right yeah. across Beach. upper torso yeah. right there. I'm thinking like forehead. Seems like... I don't know. Yeah. Subtle. You got some job security. Yeah. You know, you can get a face tattoo. Um, right, cool. Awesome. So, <laughs> you know, then in May, um, May's 
probably one of the best weather months yes. in Somerville, Austin. Yes. Oh, yeah. So it's great to get outside as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And the first weekend in May um, is Open Studio, Somerville Open Studio, which yeah. is a great event. Uh, we support Somerville Open Studios, but we don't run it. It's volunteer run. Um, and it's a really incredible time to see several hundred artist studios. People open their studios, their home studios, the big studio buildings. Um, and you can go and look at amazing art and meet artists and, again, meet your neighbors mm -hmm. who a lot of times people don't know that they have artists living all around them and making art in the houses right nearby. And it's great right. to see people's home studios. And um, Scout TV just did a feature on a few of the artists who are going to be showing at some open studios. Indeed, we did. And you can see their houses <laughs> in person. The I know. In May. It's incredible. Like it's the, incredible. the folks that we went to to visit and to conduct the interviews, it was just like kind of amazing. A preservation of of like art collections, like Absolutely. kind of. I mean, it's the thematic based on like different rooms and yeah. stuff, but it's so incredible. Yeah. yeah, and they're so excited to like want to share with yeah. people like the background, the stories, yeah. and. And, Anyways. you know, we really need to support our local artists to keep them in Somerville. And one way we can do that is by buying art. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's a great weekend to buy art. Right. Yeah, if you're thinking of getting that print at some uh, place. In, that's like a chain that's store. That's like a chain Don't store, do exactly. Right. Don't do Go it. Go to a local right. artist's house or their studio and buy art directly from them. Exactly. And I have a rule that I buy at least one piece of art every year at Open Studio. That's cool. great. That's a great I'm rule. filling my house up with beautiful art. Yeah. And it often, gives your house way more personality. Mm -hmm. And for those of us who don't have a ton of money, there are lots of artists who sell postcard prints or sell smaller prints or reproductions. So if you can't buy a, you know, five hundred dollar piece of art, you can still buy some beautiful stuff and have a local artist piece in your house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a big fan of the uh, Arts Union series p f posters from over yeah. the years. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, Union Press is always participating in open studios. You can go buy some posters from past farmers markets, mm -hmm. and past festivals. Yeah, so that's uh, May 6th and 7th, 12 to 6 p.m. And what else is happening uh, after? So if you <laughs> had a great day of art on May 6th, Saturday, and you just want a little more community spirit and art, <laughs> <laughs> You can come to the Cinema Somerville Film Festival. The second annual. The second annual. Woo -woo. Nighttime. 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 Outdoor Cinema <laughs> Somerville yes. screening. Yes. Giant screen. Close to the late morning because that wouldn't work well with the light of the sun. <laughs> so, work well. <laughs> so that will be in the evening of May 6th. Mm -hmm. And um, we're co curating that, co collaborating mm -hmm. on producing that event. And I mean, you can talk more about the content, but it's really going to be a celebration of this year being Somerville's 175th anniversary. And we're going to really focus on the great things about Somerville, past and present. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think it made sense to sort of tap into the whole 175th celebration. Yeah. And from like an archival perspective, we have so much content here that we're going to pull the best of the best yeah. to show the Somerville community and the greater Somerville community for folks who want to come from Cambridge or Boston to enjoy. They're welcome. Um, but stuff like Somerville Dance Party, which was this event that happened, I think, monthly in our studios here in the late 80s and 90s. And um, Yeah, those are great. There's just some awesome gems that um, Dave and I are going to be uh, putting together. And then we have some newer submissions from people who um, have done like short documentaries about like the Honk Festival, yep. which was really well done. The Neighborhood Restaurant, which has been around for 30 plus years. Um, so there'll be some profiling of kind of like our, our iconic restaurants, businesses, um, and yeah, it's gonna be good. So it's all short films. Yep. And it will run about like 90 minutes or so. Yeah, so that'll start around like 7.30 mm -hmm. that evening. It'll be right out here in the plaza in Union Square. Come have some snacks, yep. hang out with us, and it should be a good time. We had a lot of fun last year. Yeah, I know. And get a big blow up like screen yeah. the city brings. And like come early, talk to the DPW people because they're so much fun too. They're part of the experience. <laughs> <laughs> I love their Somerville charm. They do. Are such a big part of making all these. Oh my god, happen. they really are. Very lucky to have. That's like the behind the scenes stuff that like like as like working in production, you learn that like 
there's so much that goes into leading up to the actual yeah. event or production itself. And if so. an event goes well, you never know all of the behind the scenes things that went right. into making Absolutely. it happen. Right. But it's always important to be appreciative of the people who are the ones doing all the work in yep. the background. And so we love our DPW. Yeah. Woo woo. We love them. I we love them so love much. Them. Shout out to DPW. Yeah, Steve, I right? I always see Steve all over. Steve, Frankie, Frankie, all our pals. I like it. Now they're like, hey, Johnny. what's up? <laughs> Tommy. Tommy. Johnny, Frankie, Stevie. Love them all. All our buds. Yeah, I hope they're watching this. Gotcha. We have to make sure they watch this. <laughs> so then we give them some shout out love. So that's the first weekend in May. Cool. It's going to be great. And what's what else is going on throughout the month? So May 13th, which is the following weekend, second weekend of May, um, the Saturday, is Porch Fest. Porch Fest. Indeed. Somerville Porch Fest. One of my favorites. Some would say it's one of the best days of the year in Somerville. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really exciting day. One of the things I like the most about it is that it's a very organic event. So as the Arts Council, we set up the, the means for people to sign up and register and participate, but we really don't produce it. It's kind of like running it's on organic. itself, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very grassroots event. So people just sign up and the map is there and people just wander around the city and look look for porches that have people on them and... You can listen, listen for music. Follow your ears yeah. Exactly. Your yeah. Um, it's really fun and it's, you know, none of the bands get paid and people really are happy to participate and just as a volunteer experience totally. yeah. because it's such an exciting community event to be part of. And yep. that really shows to me the spirit of Somerville Yeah. and that people want to be part of the arts community. There are so many artists in the city that just want to be together and meet their neighbors and meet their community and bring the community out to hear them play. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, a pretty great map that you can follow. Yeah. Um, one year I actually, I met someone here at, at Somerville Media Center and he was a performer and he just moved here and he wanted to get involved with us and anyway I learned more about him and I listened to his music I'm like wow you're really good and then I was like do you want to perform on like in my yard space for porch fest so he did he came and like there were so many people like I had like some friends come over but then like so many of the neighbors had come yep. and especially in that area um, near it's like you know walnut and pearl yep. um, the leather park district like no one really I think has hosted many right. it sounded like like, people like whoa this is really cool and like a lot yeah. of different like families came out they thought it was the coolest oh, cool. thing and and they're so like so intercultural over there too that yeah. you know folks were like this is awesome he was kind of like this like this like like Spanish influenced and anyways yeah it's a lot of fun um, to host and just to kind of like go around and yeah. check out yeah. Kind of, it's, yeah, it's, I like. It's interesting. Yeah, I like how uh, bike friendly and how yeah. pedestrian friendly it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you plan to drive around Porch Fest, you're gonna miss the experience. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because you close off streets anyway, right? Some streets are closed off if certain uh, blocks have their own block parties. Yeah. But it's really you. Like you said, it's more about the experience. Mm -hmm. Walking, biking. Roller skating, scootering around. That's the way to go. Yeah. Call your friends, hop on your bikes. Wow. Go go listen to music all day. I usually yeah. try to I have a friend or two I try to go with and then you just run into lots of other people and you kind of see different groups and overlap and it's yeah. really it's a great time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So um, the whole event is twelve to six but we actually quadrant it off by section of the city. So it's like a wave of music going across the city. So 12 to 2 is East Somerville, 2 to 4 is Central Somerville, and 4 to 6 is West Somerville. That's awesome. So you can really kind of go across the city throughout yeah. the day, and you don't have to worry about getting across the whole city at one time. You can kind of go in order. Yeah. And stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> so Bring important. Some <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Bring some sunscreen. Yeah, the sun's out in full force where by that this, time. Where did this start, uh, the whole Porch Fest concept? Um, Ithaca, New York. Fun fact. Do you know Ithaca at all? I'm familiar with it, yeah. 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 Cool I'm place. from upstate New York near Troy, so not, you know, but a little bit different. But it has some but. resonance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the like cool hippie, like, yeah. low, I don't know, fun, fun carb. little scene. Yeah, low carb. Gosh. <laughs> I was going to say low key, oh. low tech. Low so many words. <laughs> low cal. <laughs> Very low cal. <laughs> low cal community. Yeah. yeah, but Summerville's the first porch fest in the Boston area. It's been going for 
I think over 10 years now. Wow. And it's really a community favorite. And I guess the other thing I would say is that we really want to be respectful of all our neighbors at Point yeah. Fest. <clears throat> and not everyone is participating. And it's really important to be thoughtful of the people who live in the city who aren't participating or right. attending Porch Fest that day. Be mindful, yeah. Be mindful because we want to make sure that everyone in the city feels like the city is open to them, mm -hmm. even if they're not part of the event. Right. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That's a good, like, rule of thumb for life. Mindfulness. Yeah. Respect your neighbors. Respect your neighbors. Know your neighbors and respect your neighbors. Absolutely. Unless they don't respect you. So you can still... <laughs> then you should still, still respect them. them. Respect your neighbors. <laughs> that was a pop quiz. You passed it. Boom. So you, you can still sign up for Porch Fest. So go to the Central Arts Council website, sign up. You can sign up until a week before the event. So if you have a band and you have a porch, um, you can sign up on the website. If you have one or the other, you can post on our Community Arts Listserv, also on our website. Oh, very nice. If you're looking for a porch or you have a porch and you're looking for a band and you can try to find a match. Cool. Nice. Very exciting. Very nice. I love yeah. it. So it's going to be a good kind of run up to the event season. Late April, early May is just really going to like get us going for a busy June, which All we'll right. talk about next time. Woo! Woo! Just talking some arts. With me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more event. Yeah. We're having an open house. Somerville yes. Media Center. Let's plug open house. Us real quick. So uh, April 29th. When you're open house? <laughs> April 28th, Friday, April 28th, from noon until 4 p.m. Um, some may know that we have launched our new name, Somerville Media Center, yeah, to better encapsulate that. all that we're it's doing so here. It is exciting. It's like, from a branding yeah. perspective, it's super exciting, and we get to play around with all sorts of, like, the colors and how, yeah. how we present ourselves out to the public. you don't want to limit yourself to television. No, right. right. Exactly. It gives you so much more wiggle room. Yeah. Well, and also just the, the the means of how we're beaming out our information is just like it's obviously grown beyond just the, the TV channel. But those are our roots, and we'll continue to embrace SCAT TV Channel 3. Um, but we wanted to unveil our new signage oh, um, wow. on April 28th, which hopefully is gonna happen. going ready. to happen. <laughs> yeah. Ready. By then, it signage will is happening. be ready. Um, so and yeah, and just kind of have like an open house feel so people can come in, like probably have some like fun interactivities for like the green screen and just show people around and um, maybe have some like popcorn going on outside, mm. a little pop-up radio booth. Yeah. And um, that's what we did for the community media day on October 15th that and was it was just, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, people kind of come by, pull them in for like an interview on Boston yeah. Free Radio and um, yeah, so that is the last Friday of this month. Great. Please come. Oh, I'll be there. Tell your neighbors, this month meaning April. Like what he just whispered. <laughs> April. <laughs> April. It's this month. April. <clears throat> so if you're watching it and we're in May, it's it already happened. <laughs> <laughs> come by still. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, you know, it, you have such a central location in Union Square that I think a lot of people know and love that you're here, but probably some people see the building and haven't been in. So this is your chance. So many inside. people. Mm -hmm. So many people and tell like, me, I've walked by people. for 10 years, and today was a day. Like, Come, Come in. in. Yeah. Come in. That's going to be part of our signage. So it's also, you know, better welcome people to, like, curiosity strikes. Come on in. There are some of the nicest people in the city working here, I would wow. say. Wow. And so they're good people to meet. We didn't pay here to say that. It's true. Not, this is not sponsored. <laughs> 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 Self-insure is not sponsored. Um... But if you want to sponsor us. I was going to say, I'm like, but we are uh, speaking underwriters. Uh, cool. <laughs> well, Nina, as always, a pleasure. It's great to talk with you guys. If people have any more questions about any of the events, they can go to summerofartscouncil.org and learn about our calendar, any other events that are happening, um, get more details, sign up, all of that. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Well, see you guys. I'll see you next time. All right. All right. See you next time. That's it for us. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.